So in a previous video, we showed how we talked about object-oriented um, concepts in Factory Talk Optics. And what I did in that video was simply uh, had made a base objects folder and I made a, um, a display called Pump Info. And if I to, were to go to that, it was just basically a, like a little faceplate or a little widget, essentially, that we were then able to copy um, over uh, here in the on the pump one display so that you know um, I created three instances of basically that that uh, base object or that widget or faceplate or however you want to call it. What I did not show in that video was how will we go about passing in uh, parameters or variables into each of these objects that we created or instances. So I'm going to show that in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, the instances I had created here of the pump info widget. And what I want to do first is I, I need to create a model, which is basically going to be um, kind of the structure of the variables that would kind of get passed in to those, those um, instances. And we'll kind of call that an alias, but we're going to create a model first. So I'm going to come here to model, right click, say new and say object. Now, um, up here is called object one. So I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it my uh, pump. And what we'll do is we'll come to the plus symbol here and we'll say add new. We're going to say add new variable. I'm just going to add a couple of variables here for each pump. Each pump will have a kind of a, you know, a common set of variables. First variable, uh, we'll call it a label and we'll make this a string type. Uh, we'll add a second variable. We'll call this one running. We'll make this a Boolean type. This would basically indicate if the pump was running or not. And we'll make one more variable here for uh, demonstration. We'll call this one speed. And we'll keep that as integer 32. Now, the, the, uh, the trick here is that we need to convert this to a type. To do that, we're going to right click on, the, uh, on this object under model. And we're going to say, um, uh, Oops, sorry, we're going to say refactor. Um, it's looking in the wrong spot. Re uh, look for refactor, and we're going to say transform instance into type. Now, if you don't see this, what you need to do is you need to come up here to the, to the Factory Talk Studio Options gear icon, choose the options, and then make sure that your advanced mode is checked on. By default, it is most likely checked off. So check it on and hit save. Uh, it would require you to restart studio uh, if it wasn't checked and you uh, and you had to check it. So now that that's checked, we'll come back here to my pump. We're going to say refactor transform instance into type. So we just converted it to a type. So now I can come back here to model, right click, and I can say new my pump. So here's my pump one. And I can say uh, right click new my pump. There's my pump two. And we'll create one more to make three. So we got my pumps one, two, and three. If I click on each one of these instances or want each one of these uh, you know, instances of the object, you'll see that uh, my pump one has a label running in speed. My pump two, label running speed. My pump three, label running speed. So in each of these instances for pumps one, two, and three, I can go ahead and link to the variable in the controller that would uh, relate to each of these points. For this example, I'm not going to actually link it to a, a real variable in the controller. I'm just going to kind of hard code it, so to speak, um, so that just to show just to show that uh, how this works. So we'll call the label first one. Maybe we'll call it pump 101. Maybe we'll keep it off and the speed is zero. Pump two, uh, we'll label this as pump 201. Let's go ahead and say that this pump is running 
and let's say that its speed is set to um, 25 perhaps and then pump three uh, once again we'll give it a label 301 or something uh, true and then we'll say that its speed is uh, we'll say 65 all right so we basically just you know gave a number into each one of these again we would typically dynamically link these to a real tag and a controller uh, but just to show data I'm, I'm just going to kind of hard code these so to speak okay so now we have that set up um, now we'll go back to our base object so pump info so in the previous video i created this object i'd put a label up top i put a slider i put an led indicator i'd kind of put two um, switches uh, on here so we're just going to link a couple of these to those tags i just created um, but first what you want to do is on this pump info type under base objects folder i want to come over here to add new and i'm going to say add an alias now we get this alias one i'm going to just call it my pump alias to kind of keep it uh keep it organized and we're going to keep that node id as it is and then under kind i'm going to go ahead and choose um go to my model and i'm going to choose my pump and the reason for this is that it'll help kind of filter it out when we when we come to here um, so now we have our our base object we're going to uh, click on um, you know we have this converted to uh, an alias now so to speak or tied to an alias uh, we're going to come to each one of these uh, things in the base object and we're going to link it to the the uh, my pump um, object so for instance uh on this pump x right now it's set to just pump x i'm going to actually link it to the alias my pump and to the label and then for the slider for the value uh right up here aliases my pump alias speed and for the led uh, we will uh, tie this to the running all right so we just basically tied those i'm not going to tie the switches at the moment so label speed and our pump running so now we're ready to come back to our um so we'll go ahead and save this we're ready to come back to our pump one page and now we come back to pump one and we can say uh, new base object pump info all right so there's instance one new base object pump info oops there's instance actually that might have got crossed up there it doesn't really matter probably but try to get keep them organized it's pump two that's pump two that's pump one pump two and lastly uh base objects pump info there's pump three so all we got to do now is we're going to tie the my pump alias to the right pump so to do that we have to we'll, we'll hit my pump alias go to dynamic link we're going to scroll down until we find the model and we'll say my pump one we'll come here do the same thing scroll down until we find the model my pump two and lastly we'll do the same thing for pump three All right, so that's all we got to do. I'll go ahead and save it. Let's fire up the emulator. So we can see um, the emulator pump zero, or sorry, pump one is, uh, is showing uh, no speed and off. Pump 201 was showing 25 and on. 
and pump 301 is showing about 65 and on. So it worked. Our, um, our, our, our values from our, our pump, um, pump objects that we created pass into each one of these. So this is what was uh, called um, resolving at the design time, meaning that we were, of course, pre-programming this in the application during the, the design phase and then deploying it. There is, of course, a way to, to dynamically pass into it during runtime so that we could choose when we open up each object which, you know, which motor or which pump would we want to tie it to. Um, that I'll show in a different video.